Hi there, today's a little bit of a different video. I'm gonna be providing you with tips and tricks on creating different educational videos for your students. So recently I was presenting a conference at a university and different university professors and college professors that were assisting this conference asked me, first of all, like how do I just make a video for my students? So I want to give you a few useful tips and some themes that may help you if you're trying to find different resources for your students. I know a lot of you French professors use my videos in your classes, and thank you, um, to show them the French culture, but maybe you want to like do a video with yourself in it to show them a part of your life or something culturally that may be based on French or maybe in the language that you are teaching. So here you have it. So the first thing is, do you need to invest in a fancy camera? Well, no, you don't. You can honestly just use your phone, but there is a little trick. I would encourage you to have your phone horizontally instead of vertically when you're filming because as you can see, you may have those two black lines on each side. So, you know, it's a little bit, it's not too nice. It's not a big deal. The second point I'd like to bring out is what you want to do if you're making a video for your students and you're in it is you really want to connect with them on a personal level. They may know you as the awesome instructor you are. However, connect with them on more of a personal level. Hey, I was thinking of you students and this is the video I'm taking for you. So it may be related to something in your own life. You could be mentioning something about possibly your favorite hobby or a dish that you love to eat or something in your family like, hey, my two kids, you know, whatever it is. So you want to connect with them on a personal basis by showing them that, hey, outside of teaching, you know, this is maybe what I like to do. I love to, you know, play tennis or whatever it is. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that you want the video to be meaningful to them, right? So you want to do something or show them something that portrays to the culture that you are teaching. So for instance, maybe you're going to go to a local bakery, like visiting this one that's right by my house where you're just saying, hey guys, like I found a bakery that sells like these French pastries that are really well known. I'm so excited about it. I recommend this place. So it may look something like this, like, hey guys, like I wanted to simply show you guys this awesome bakery that I love going to. It's down the street from my house and they have authentic French pastries. And you could literally be showing them a place that you would recommend that has authentic food from wherever you're from or that you would recommend. Or possibly you're showing them a product from where you're from or a country that speaks the language that you're teaching. So you may say like, hey guys, this is actually a liqueur from where I'm from in the south of France. It's called Festis. And we drink it often in the summer with ice cubes and there's different ways that we can make it, but it's very typical. But guess what? There's two different, very different kinds that Frenchies know the difference between the two because they always have a favorite. So it may look like something like that. And if you would want me to do a video explaining those two types of liqueurs and how you drink them, because it is very traditional in France, well, make sure you comment below and I will do that video for you. So you may just show a video that shows these different products or maybe you're showing them hey in the country that I'm from or in this country in the language that is taught the target language this is actually how we would hold a fork and knife it's different they may be what you're used to but you're giving them this culture by doing a short video so now let me give you the reason why you should create different videos for your students but before I do so make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thank you so the reason that you want to possibly do these videos for your students, you might be thinking, well, there's so many different videos out there. There are, but by having a video with you in it is just getting for you to be able to connect on a personal level to your students, whether you just thought of them or whether you're wanting to explain a short point, whether it's a grammatical point or cultural point or cultural difference, even a small like vocabulary difference. Like, hey, it's just connecting with them. And sometimes, you know, like have, with me teaching college, I would always add little details like, hey, French 201 class and, you know, add the little detail to make sure that they understood. Or you might even add a date um, or you might even say like, I can't believe that the spring semester is almost over and add a little detail so that they know that you're really doing it for them. A short, sweet video that just connects you with your students, whether you teach online or on campus, can be very beneficial to explain short cultural differences, but especially to connect you with the different students in your classroom. I hope that you like this video. Comment what you would love to learn. 
If you want me to make the video with the Festis um, or in the Saint-Gantéen, the difference of using one or the other and how it's done or some other type of video that you'd like to see on this channel. A bientôt!